to Elsie. The pure products of America go crazy. Mountain folk from Kentucky or the ribbed north end of Jersey, with its isolate lakes and valleys, its death mutes, thieves, old names, and promiscuity between devil-may-care men who have taken to railroading out of sheer lust of adventure, and young slatterns bathed in filth from Monday to Saturday to be tricked out that night with gods from imaginations which have no peasant traditions to give them character, but flutter and flaunt sheer rags, succumbing without emotion save numbed terror under some hedge of chokecherry or viburnum, which they cannot express. Unless it be that marriage, perhaps, with a dash of Indian blood, will throw up a girl so desolate, so hemmed round with disease or murder, that she'll be rescued by an agent, reared by the state, and sent out at 15 to work in some hard-pressed house in the suburbs, some doctor's family, some Elsie, voluptuous water, expressing with broken brain the truth about us, her great ungainly hips and flopping breasts addressed to cheap jewelry, and rich young men with fine eyes, as if the earth under our feet were an excrement of some sky, and we degraded prisoners, destined to hunger until we eat filth, while the imagination strains after deer going by fields of goldenrod in the stifling heat of September. Somehow it seems to destroy us. It is only an isolate flex that something is given off. No one to witness and adjust. No one to drive the car.